What is going on today guys? We are back with another episode of Fear of the Night. Now in today's video, I promise you we are going to get the resin up in Area 6 so we can start making PCABS and possibly even swinging by the aluminum mine while we're right up there in Area 7. But to start the day, you might notice, well, there's only three scouts. Where's the fourth? On my way home, my one decided to jump off the frickin' bridge. So, I wasn't intending on doing this, but I'm going to show you guys using the portal, if the portal has enough range for me to be able to get my scout out of there. So, to make a portal is very expensive, especially right now when this is all the recycled metal we have. That is all that we have left. But it costs us 50 recycled metal, 20 power tools, and 5 batteries. So unfortunately we need it. We have no other choice. I don't even honestly remember what that scout had in him for loot. So yeah. But anyway, as you can see, it's here in our inventory. That's the first thing we're going to do on the way up there today is we have to go rescue him. Now, I'm pretty sure I emptied these guys out, but I'd just like to make sure. Yeah, he's just got a couple miscellaneous things. And my repair scout, of course, has my metal my makeshift parts, hide, and I brought along some extra shotgun parts. I'm actually going to give him some more of that hide. But, yeah, it's, that is not what I wanted to hit. I always, always end up hitting that damn button. Oh, well. Um, let me get the rest of this crap back in here now. And I'm actually just going to give him that, too. Why not? All right. But you can see I crafted up a little bit of shotgun ammo. We really don't have a ton of resources. So I wasn't able to make up as much as I wanted before we left. But we do have our handy-dandy rifle. I didn't make any more arrows. Like I said, we're, we're pretty much out of resources. After today's video, when we go up and get the PCABS and the aluminum, I'm going to do a farming run after that to go get as much metal and plastic scrap as I can get. Now, like I had said in the last video, if we had went and cleared out the junkyard and used the shovel in there, that is one way to get recycled material. I'm pretty sure you get both. Or maybe it's just recycled metal out of there. I can't honestly remember which one. But anyway, the scouts up here, as I was coming home in the night, uh, is right before dark. So I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have even had a chance to get back out there before it got dark anyway. So I figured it, we'd do it first thing in the morning on our way up to get get the new stuff but yeah it was it was almost funny but at the same time it kind of pissed me off a little bit cuz I turn around as the zombies running behind me coming across the bridge and what happens I watched him walk off the freaking bridge and I couldn't do anything but I will show you, he is down here in the water. I'm going to put my other scouts it's right here. Do not go in the water, thank you. But he is right down, where are you at? Like right underneath me here. There he is, right there in the freaking water. So yeah, he walked off right there. And... Yeah, I just 
Like I said, I couldn't do anything. But never fear. The portal should be able to reach him. If it doesn't, I'm going to be super upset. But this is... Which scout are you? You are storage too. So all right. To place the portal, you need a flat surface-ish. Come on. Wish I could place it up here, but I don't think I can. It needs to be close enough as well. I don't remember the exact range, but it's got to be close enough. I hope this is. This is as good as I can get it. So you click on the one that you want to transfer, hit transfer, and bam, he pops right up here. Thankfully, we got him back. Unfortunately, he is loaded up with shit that I wanted to get scrapped down and stuff like that, but we don't have time for it. He's not completely full, so. And the portals are a one-time use. Once you use it, it's gone. So they are very costly if you can avoid using them. Obviously, the majority of the time, you will not be able to avoid Avoid using it. But yeah, he walked off right there. If another one walks off, I... Oh, don't... Oh. I thought that... I honestly thought that one was going to walk off there. Oh my god, that about gave me a freaking heart attack. But alright guys, we are heading right up here. I am going to go most of the way there off camera. Once I get up by the police station here, I will get back with you guys. But until then, catch you in a few minutes. Alright guys, we are just rolling up here. Um, it was a bit of a long journey up here. As you can see, these are different trees straight in front of me there. Those are what we need. Those are what we get the resin from. Now, we are just off the main road dividing area 6 and area 7 and I marked the lumber camp the actual trees are a big crop right there so we need our axe and we can just go up here we do have to be careful there are enforcers here as well but we should not need to worry about them too much I'm actually just going to set these guys up there, get them out of my way. There we go. So you can see level 30, getting a little bit big again, but nothing we can't handle. All right, get these guys up here, and I'm going to sneak a peek at the enforcers with you guys quick before before we start chopping these trees all right see if we can't see any of them hear them shooting the zombies as the zombies walk in there the enforcers shoot them or they'll chase them so you got to be careful with that out here if the enforcers aggro onto zombies out this direction towards you they will get close enough to be able to detect you so just be fair warned if you hear one shooting you might want to back off and for sure you might want to back your scouts off if nothing else because as I said before they will kill your scouts and once they're locked onto you they don't stop and the biggest difference between them here and the ones we were farming at the junkyard is these ones are a lot higher level. A lot higher level. But as you can see, resin weighs 50 per 100 stack. So we can take quite a bit of this. I'm not going to take the wood.
with this new axe is so nice. You just one swing, tree goes down. Just great. All right. Put some more in here. Drop the wood again. Level him up because we're going to need him to be at max capacity for hauling this back because I am hauling back a big load of this and we're going to be hauling back a big load of aluminum. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I always end up hitting Q. Always. Now this can be scrapped down into plastic if you need to. However, to start with, this is going to be way more important to us as the, just the PC ABS. So we will not be scrapping any of this. But it is an option. We will make our loot runs for getting plastic rather than scrapping this down. But it's, it is an option if you need it. Alright, so this guy is pretty much at capacity. I don't fill them all the way up. Because I believe it hampers their speed. Um, this guy is completely empty. And this guy has... Oh, that's my repair scout. Alright, and this guy is not too bad. Off. So that should be enough PC ABS. Now we'll need our sledgehammer for at the mine. Which we're going to head there now. I will show you on the map. It is right across over here. Do not get too close to that. That is the police station with enforcers at it. So now guys we're just going to. Take a stroll over there and. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get them guys to follow you. Not a big deal, but now that we're loaded up with that that resin for the PC ABS, we want to get the hell out of here. I don't want to be any closer to the enforcers than we have to be. Because even with the shotgun and the rifle right now, the enforcers would still, they would still just, They'd kill me before I could take them out easily. Now, as far as I know, there is no enforcers guarding the mine. At least the last time I was here, there was not. So, and there better not be now either. I'd be a bit upset if I had to fight through enforcers to get here now. But, yeah, this is clear. You can just walk up in here. Don't have to worry about it. Make sure. Always turn around and make sure your scouts are following you. Because there can be a bit of a. They get stuck on everything. Or as you saw. I had to rescue mine already. So. Just keep an eye out for that. This is the entrance to the mine. I'm going to leave my scouts right out here. Leave them on. Um, give me my damn mining helmet. Thank you. Alright. Leave whatever we don't need behind. This guy's got a little bit of room. So I'll give him some stuff. Let's see, Yeah, that ought to be good. Don't really need the shovel either, but... We'll be all right. So all right. Ah, oh, shit. We didn't repair this. Crap. I. I need to look on the map quick. I might have to go. Um. No. I don't think we'd find any. If you find a house in a higher level area, and it has a toilet, you can. 
get recycled material out of it, as odd as it sounds. So bear with me. It's going to be a bit dark. I want to save the helmet till we need it. And as you can see, zombies are already down here. I don't have many arrows, so we'll be primarily using the rifle and the shotgun. And look at how much XP these guys have. 47.91. Holy crap. These guys have got to be level 40. They've got to be. 41, 42, 42. Holy crap. Now, there should be spider zombies down here. I'm going to, oh yeah, look at all these guys. The spider zombies are up there. I saw them as we walked around the corner. Well, let's clear out what we can with the bow. We don't want to make noise, too much noise. Bad shot. Probably should have made more arrows. But like I said, we were so low on recycled materials that I just I just didn't do it. So now we're going to use the rifle so I can draw the attention of the spider zombies up top there. Maybe not. They should hear this and come down. Here they come. See them? Now these things, when they melee attack you, they steal whatever weapon you are using. Okay guys, we are back. I apologize, the video cut off for some reason. It ran out of space. It was, I don't know why my capture device was recording to the wrong hard drive, but we killed the spider zombie and we have farmed the aluminum out of there now. We are pretty much full on all of our scouts. And again, I apologize. Uh, this is my this is my first day with the new recording software. I actually got a different one again because my last one wasn't working right. But yeah, it was recording to the wrong folder. I had it set to record to my external hard drive that I have on my computer, and it installed to my SSD. So anyway, I wanted to take you guys in here and check around for a little bit of loot quick as you can see these are bottles of chemicals it's only one chemical though so unfortunately it's nothing exciting but sometimes you get lucky and you come in here and you can see there's a Molotov laying there you'll find stuff like that occasionally random weapons or tools it just really varies so I just wanted to show you guys that and this is cement you can see there's cement there and we have a safe here 30 seconds to open again I'm not sure what's going to be in here it is area 7 so I'm hoping for something better than just a pistol but we will see now once we get home, we will be making up a bunch of the PC ABS and the aluminum. Oh, it's a damn pistol. To be honest, I'm only going to take the ammo. I don't want the pistol. This is cardboard sometimes. You, sometimes you can grab it. Other times, for some reason, it just seems to be like it's not placed right for you to be able to get a hold of it or whatever kill that guy off but there appears to be nothing else we can grab so let's check out the other buildings 
There's a few of them. Where are my scouts? Oh, there they are. Looking right at them. Just trying to look on the map. Thought, I got, thought they got lost for a minute. But yeah, once we get back home, we will be making the PCABS, like I said. Oh, shit, there's a freaking mining helmet right here. What the hell's the chances? I was just talking about making a mining helmet, and there's a mining helmet just sitting on the shelf. What's the chances? But anyway, as I was saying, when we get back, we're going to be making the PCABS, we are going to be making aluminum alloy, and we are going to be getting us the claymore and... can't remember what else. I thought there was something else. I might be wrong, but anyway, there's nothing special in there. So we're going to come this way, and now I want to show you this. Now this is, to be honest, this is my favorite spot to farm the enforcers at. Just because the enforcers are quite a bit higher level. Uh, it's it's more of a challenge here. They are, like I said, they are a lot higher level. I can't remember what level they are. But the ones in the junkyard are like 3 to 6. These ones are, I think, in the 30s. I can't remember, though. It's been quite a while. I don't remember if these are the ones that are high level or if the other ones are. But, anyway... We're going to come over here and take a look. I'm just going to leave my scouts out here. That is the police station building. But where, where is my... Oh, it's over there. Okay. I was going to say, I have a building that I... That I aggro them to and farm them. So we'll get over that way. But this police station uh, is has quite some interesting loot in it. I'm not going to, I won't spoil anything. You guys will have to wait and, and see in the video when we actually do take it what's actually in there. But again, giving these guys a wide berth, because if they aggro onto a zombie, they will go way the hell out from where they're supposed to be at. So just something to take note of. I find that the enforcers are the toughest foe in the game for me personally. It's not that they're hard to kill but it's that they do the most damage out of any out of anything you will run into so all right i'm going to let my scouts go over there and we're going to come up here just a little bit And this is the building I use. Somewhat similar to the other one. The only difference is, is it's got a huge gap here. So it makes it a lot harder to farm these guys. Because obviously they can walk all the way through there. And they get a lot easier shots at you. And with this building, they like to go around the back a lot too. Which isn't a big deal if you can get them to go in the back there it's much easier to kill them through that small opening because it gives them less of a window to shoot through but yeah as you can see good spot to aggro them from there is five in total over there but we are not going to farm them today 
I just wanted to show you guys. I know it's like a tease, but we have a lot to do with the resources we got when we get home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run home off camera quick and I will meet you guys there. Alright guys, we just arrived back at home. All our scouts actually made it this time, so that's a good thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use our machine tool to make PC ABS and aluminum alloy. Now, we need five resin and five recycled plastic per piece of ABS. For aluminum, you need five ore, two chemicals, and eight metal per piece of aluminum alloy. Very expensive, but it needs to be done. So I'm going to fast travel. Let me check my inventory, make sure I have... I'll dump this stuff over here. But we're going to fast travel over here. Scoop up some plastic. Scoop up what we got for chemicals. And fast travel back. Alright. So now, what we need to do is we need to get our scouts to scoot over to right here. So I can grab the stuff from them. So, to start with, we are going to make aluminum being this guy just happened to be right there for me and all right there we go I can get a hold of him now we do we are way overweight that's why I did it this way but whoops get down here but we're going to make 60 pieces of this it takes a while but it gives 300 experience per as you can see, it makes one for all the materials. So, I am going to fast forward through the crafting of this, and I will be back to you guys when we're going to start on the PC ABS. Alright guys, we are just finishing up now. As you can see, it is burning through the materials to make this stuff. So, just be aware, it is expensive, very expensive. Now we can move again, so I'm going to just drop this stuff off. We're done with them. Now we need our resin. No, no. All right. Need that one. There we go. So this is five to five. So we're just going to grab 300. And now we should be able to make 60 PC ABS. And again, three seconds per. So I will skip through this and I will cut you back when we are almost done. All right, guys, we are just finishing up. That was our last piece there. So that is all done now. Now get these guys to move out of my way. Or at least one of them do. And I'm going to take back a stack of that. Now we're going to see what we can make with this. So, we have unlocked the claymore now. We need a little bit of wood for that. We can make the crossbow, which is aluminum, cloth, and PC ABS. We're going to skip the katana because the claymore is quite a bit better. Um, what are we? Oh yeah, we are missing the pipe for this last time. But we will get to that. I'll probably just make that off camera. But I want to show you guys the crossbow and the claymore today. We're so close to the hunting shotgun, which is an upgrade to the sawed-off shotgun. The pipe rifle is coming soon. It's 
got a scope on it. It's a single shot rifle. We will be making that. I probably, n I might make this just to show you guys it, but I probably won't use it too much. We will be making that. It's a little, it's, like I said, it's kind of like an, it's an MP5 is what it is. But the problem with the SMGs is they fire rifle rounds instead of pistol rounds, which I don't understand. But it is what it is. We will get to make new harvesting tools soon, too. But as you can see in my inventory here, it takes a lot of experience to level up now. 296,000, and it only goes up from there by quite a bit. <laughs> So I think I have some wood in here. I do. I'll take half a stack of that. So. Nope. Scroll down. Alright. Let us make ourselves a crossbow and a claymore. Now, very expensive to repair. But it takes less resources than the bat. So it's kind of a trade-off. But, I don't know. For the difference in damage, it's, it's so much better. We'll be able to cut through the infected like nothing. Now, I believe this is the last melee weapon. Everything else is basically guns. As you can see, other than these harvesting tools, we have no more melee weapons. You can find a pinion mace in the game, but you can't repair it, and it only does, it's 160 damage, so it's slightly better, but it's nothing huge difference anyway. But... take up some of that. Now I'm going to drop these off in here as our spares just in case something were to happen to us and we just need to grab something and go quick we will have that. But let's leave our scouts here and I'm actually going to drop off Eh, you know what, let's just go with that much for now. Now, let's go out and test these babies out. As you can see, this thing is, is huge. It's going to do some serious damage. The crossbow. Whoops, wrong button. Put my arrows up on it. Now the crossbow does have a scope, but the problem with the scopes, as you can see, is I am not moving that. It just sways back and forth on its own. So there's a trade-off. It's a lot more accurate. If you're on them, that's where you hit. See how much it sways, but it is accurate. Claymore, it just destroys these these lower level zombies. Come in here and find one more. Should be another guy in here. Whack, just demolishes them. Level 20, like nothing. Level 15, it just cuts right through them. So, another thing that we wanted the PCABS and the aluminum for was we want to make safes now. Now, the safes will replace all our small structure slots that are used for storage, and they have a ton of room in them. Now, let me get in here quick. I'm going to grab all that out. 
come on. There we go. Um, where did I put them? Oh, first box here. Yep, I'm going to grab them as well because I believe we need them. I'm not sure what else, but we're going to fast travel over to our construction bench and we're going to be making one of them so I can show you that. Now, it's quite a ways down here. We need, oh, we need gears. Okay, I don't think I have any in this place, so go grab some gears quick and we're going to be making them gears are in here just gonna grab a big stack of them alright you guys need to get out of the way go over there there we go alright let us make up some safes. How many can we even make? We can make one. They are super expensive. Holy crap. But we do have the resources to make up more. I am going to have to do a loot run off camera after I get as much of this made as I can. Because we'll probably need more metal. We'll probably need more chemicals. We might need more more uh, recycled plastic. I know I definitely need more recycled metal. So I can make arrow and bullets. But let's take this over to the other shelter. And we can show you how they look. I press number five and bam look at that monster 15,000 weight capacity 120 slots this thing holds a monstrosity amount of stuff it is going to come in so handy and as you can see we can put in seven along this wall we can put in another one there and another one in here that's going to be nine total at 120 slots each that is going to be 1080 slots that we can put stuff into now we can also put in 15,000 weight units per thing so multiply that by nine that is a hundred and thirty five thousand units of weight now to put that in perspective we can hold 720 weight units total and that thing all nine of them will hold a hundred and thirty five thousand that is insane so that is what we have to look forward to now all this wonderful loot we can start getting the shelter set up more eventually we are going to move into a more centralized location in the map but I'm in no hurry we can take jump shelters that's probably something I'm going to do off camera as well as you can see I got a jump point there I'm going to want a jump point up by the mine and the resin. We're going to want a jump point over here by that POI. Which, as you can see, Area 4 says it's only got a layer. This point of interest is technically, technically considered Area 6, I guess. Which, you know, it's funky. So, but, what are we going to do in the next episode? Well, that is a good question. We've got our resin. We've got our aluminum now. Now what we'll probably do in the next episode is we will probably go seal off the Area 2 cave. And after we seal that off, It'll probably be time for us to get our first enforcer. 
so we can take over this point of interest in area two and from there guys it's everything's gonna start moving along pretty good we're going to be taking two-story shelter soon which if I remember right one of these three is the big two-story shelter and we will take that just so you guys can see how big that is that is a ton bigger than this one-story one they're they're unbelievable how many spaces are in there so guys we're going to end the episode at that in the next episode we'll probably start off with crafting food products over at our new food bench and like I said from there sealing up the area to cave you know we need to level up big time now I don't think we've unlocked any new armor yet level 30 starts plate armor this is the reason for the license plates it is expensive as hell 50 metal to make each you know the helmets 30 I sorry but to upgrade then is 80, 80, 60, and then again 120, 120, and 90. So we are going to be doing a lot of looting. I will get my helmet upgraded to level 3 off camera as well. So thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I've been having a blast playing this game. Um, this is one of my favorite games, as I've said. I hope you guys enjoy it. If there's something you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comment section, and I will see what I can do. If you want me to play around with another gun, you know, something like that, let me know. I'm more than willing to facilitate what I can, but... You guys got to let me know. And, yeah. So thank you guys again for being here. I appreciate all the support. If you guys are enjoying the content, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below if you like it or not. So, again, thank you guys for being here. And we will see you in the next episode.